Hi hey folks, Tyler here, Outdoor Concepts, July 3rd. It's, uh, it's beyond hot. It's really hot. 96 today, I think, heat index over 100. July 3rd, and this is the third week at 90 or above, or close to it. Either way you look at it, folks, hot summer. Third round fungicide starts this week. Fungicide, a little RGS little iron from Greene County Furt. Um, excited about the program. A lot of yards out there. Zero brown patch all year. Zero. Some yards, not so much. June was a busy month for me. A lot of family vacation. Uh, just wasn't taking attention or paying attention, excuse me, to my yard like I normally do. Uh, it hasn't been mowed two or three weeks. It's probably, I don't know, six, eight inches tall. It looks good. It's green. It's thick. It's full. I'm probably going to get a letter from the HOA. I got to cut it. Just want to point out a couple things. In the springtime, when I talk about not aerating and seeding, let's see if we can get this over here, about not aerating and seeding, because the, this summer is exactly why. It is so hot. It's been brutal the last three weeks young grass cannot make it through this heat i have two spots in my yard i had poetry of this spring I sprayed them early march got them reseeded mid-march it's usually about the time we if you're going to re if you're going to seed in the spring i mean march is it for us february is a little traditionally too cold um, april's a little late march is perfect i had grass come up look beautiful could not even see the spots where that you know where where the spots were couldn't even tell they were they were there um, after about a week of above 90, bam, done. These two spots right here. Dead grass. Doesn't make it, the young grass, just it won't make it through the heat. Another thing in my yard, that, now take in mind, my yard is on the same program as everybody else. Same fertilizer, same fungicide. Sometimes my get, mine gets a little neglected by, uh, I forget to put the fungicide out, I'm busy. Like again, I haven't even cut it. Um, look over here, we have brown patch in my yard. That's it folks, it's classic brown patch. I saw it the other day. It's gonna get sprayed out. We're gonna spray it this week. Why my yard gets it and the three neighbors across the street that are on the same program as mine don't get it, no clue. Look here brown patch right there but anyways we're gonna treat it I'm gonna spray it it'll be gone I'm gonna cut the grass this week so I don't make anybody mad but anyways as the third round goes along I'm gonna be taking pictures fungicide yards some have brown patch in them it likes it the product you're supposed to get 25 28 days out of it if we get heavy rain, you're not going to get that that length of time with the product. It's gonna it's just like anything. It dilutes. It runs off. Try to keep an eye on things. We try to stay on top of it. We we always have fungicide in the tanks this time of year. Um, of the yards I've looked at this week so far, they look good. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot. Of, they're just as beautiful as can be. Uh, they're irrigated. Our non-irrigated yards are. They're struggling. They're they're stressed. Anytime it gets above 85 with fescue, fescue is in stress. And again, this is the third week, at least at around 90 or above 90. Um, it's just, it's hot. And it's just July 3rd, it's July 3rd, excuse me. Uh, anyways, it's uh, 4th of July week, so happy 4th of July to everybody. This video, hopefully have it out this weekend, and we'll have a bunch of pictures of some properties and some brown patch and what we're doing to solve it. And yeah. I'll go from there. Thanks. Fungicide. We'll talk about this real quick. 
this backyard uh, traditionally. Uh, actually, well, now it, it looks great. Looks like this pretty much year round. Homeowner does a good job of water and they don't have irrigation, but they have a uh, manual garden hose that they've got hooked up to a timer from Lowe's and they water the yard and it looks good. It's got a little brown patch in it, um, probably due to the fact that the backyard is just so tight. There's no air movement back here whatsoever. It's very just stagnant. Um, we, I see that a lot in backyards that have, that just get no airflow whatsoever. So we're gonna see, I mean, the backyard looks great. A Little bit of brown patch over here, just a little bit. Rest of it looks great. That brown patch will be gone soon. It's been sprayed. See you Across the street. Look at that. That is July 5th. That's an irrigated yard. That yard is beautiful. This is the first uh, year we've had it. We picked it up uh, last fall. Fungicide fertilizer program, outdoor concepts. I'm surprised we don't have the whole street. Hopefully, we will by the end of the season. All right, folks, back again. July 6th, Friday, end of the week. It's super hot. Super hot out here humid muggy look at that yard behind me that is a beautiful yard for mid-july in charlotte with the heat we've had this year the humidity brown patches literally everywhere except for our fungicide account yards i've seen a few spots here and there don't get me wrong the backyard's got a little bit uh, there's zero airflow in the backyard there's a little bit of brown patch in the backyard i sprayed it out this morning um, that yard's just, it's gorgeous. Look at that yard. I take lots of pictures of this one. I'm going to go two doors down and spray the next one. I'll keep at it. Thanks.